Hello friends. Today I am going to show you one of the trick to bring more roundity to any kind of round objects we are rendering. The trick is noticing the core shadow and rendering the core shadow. If you can see a lot of round objects, you know, it may be ceramic cup, ceramic pot or any cylindrical bucket, something, something like that round object. Okay. So how does this core shadow will help you in bringing proper roundity to the object and definitely it brings a lot of drama and more, uh, you know, uh, it will bring more attention to the, towards your rendering towards the object rendering. Okay. So let us see how we can render the core shadow. See what I am talking about is this is a pure cylindrical object. Okay, Light to shade. This is darker. What I am talking about is creating core shadow. If we bring a white paper say, near the object this is the bounce light effect and this is the core shadow so now we are going to see how we can create such kind of core shadow and bring more drama in our drawing or artwork let us see on the drawing board so see uh, this is a pure gradient i have taken cylindrical object and uh, dark to light it indicates that uh, this is the round object okay is a little uh, but uh, mild highlight in this area okay. and this is dark to sh shadow N not shadow shade darker shade to light tone this is a pure gradient this indicates that this is a cylindrical object with the shadow okay but as a uh, in this universe, in this environment, we have environment. Definitely, there could be a bounce and light from all over the areas, uh, on the ground, from ground itself, or from another surface as well. As I have shown you in uh, previous example. Okay. So how we can create here? Okay. I am just darkening this area. It will create it will create I am just bounce, uh, darkening this area. I am just darkening this area. Okay. It will create a bounce light effect here. The darkening area I am doing it is called as core shadow in technical language. I have to make gradient in two directions dark to light, dark to light.
so this area looks lighter So you can notice the uh, previous, it's looking better than the previous one. You can rewind the video and check. This thing is called as core shadow. Not exactly the shadow. But in technical terms, it's called as core shadow. As a light from the surrounding is falling on the other side of the cylinder, uh, it remains little darker. So, uh, as here it comes the shadow, this side will be little darker than this upside. As light bounces in this area will be little or less than the top one. I hope you understood the principle of core shadow, creating crow shadow. Importance of core shadow, I want to say. So whether it's a photography or a pencil drawing, uh, you have to create this kind of core shadow to make the things interesting, make things look interesting. Whether it is in still life photography or in the pencil drawing. So this way you can create a core shadow to make things, things look interesting. I hope you like this technique to bring more roundity in your artwork. Definitely it will pull more attention towards the artwork, towards the object and definitely it is going to bring more drama in your artwork. So stay tuned for the next video with subscribers.